Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to create an ECA service with load balancer. So let's get started. Basically in the previous lecture, we tried to deploy a single container onto our ECS cluster and then try to access that particular container via its public IP address that is the public IP address of our container instance right but in general scenario it doesn't happen we require multiple tasks to provide high availability and also at the same time it is not very much feasible for us to provide this particular IP address to our users to access it right and also if we are making use of dynamic port mapping then in that case we don't even know the port on which our uh, instance or our container is running on so in that case we are not able to access that particular container via its directly via its public IP address so it is not very much better option in that case right so in order to solve this problem we have got application load balancer now with the help of application load balancer we are able to allow the traffic across a group of containers right so in this case we have got a listener as well as target groups so listener is used to listen to the client request that comes across the traffic right and then that is redirected to our target groups which are associated with our tasks okay so for configuring application load balancer we require security groups now in this case you can see that we require security groups at the starting point where the traffic actually is coming on our application load balancer and the one that is when the target groups needs to be associated with the tasks right so we need to create these two security groups before we actually create our clusters as well as application load balancer okay so let's go to the steps that we are going to perform in this particular lecture so the first thing that we'll be doing is we'll be creating two security groups one for the load balancer to allow the traffic at port 80 and another one for the cluster to allow the traffic from load balancer okay and the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be creating an ECS cluster then we'll be creating a task definition and lastly we'll be creating an ECS service which will be associated with the load balancer so let's go to our AWS dashboard and start implementing this see that over here I have got the security groups dashboard wherein I'll be first creating the security groups for the traff for the application load balancer as well as for my traffic to come from load balancer onto my task okay so first I'll be creating application load balancer okay so this is the name of my security group which will allow the traffic to port 80 okay so I'll be adding the inbound rule right here I will be adding the rule for um, HTTP so here is it and I'll be allowing it from anywhere okay so this is what is my application load balancer security group okay now 
I have created one now I'll create the other one for the traffic from load balancer sir to container right so this will be the name of my security group wherein the description will be allows the traffic from load balancer okay so i'll be adding the inbound rule right here now here the inbound rule will be all traffic or i would say all tcp okay on to now i'll be passing this particular traffic onto my load balancer okay so this will be the security group uh, to which all the traffic will get directed or which will allow the traffic from this particular uh, security group to our containers okay so i'll be creating the security group now so now we have got these two security groups created now what i'll do is i'll be creating the ecs cluster first okay so i'll go to create cluster then ec2 linux plus networking next step in that i'll be mentioning the cluster name out here okay and provisioning model will be on demand for the ec2 instance type i'll be keeping it to be t2.micro and the number of instances i'll be considering it as 2 and for the rest i'll be keeping them as it is for the key pair ecs servers for the vpc the default vpc and for the subnets i'll be considering a one a one b is there and one c i'll be considering right okay for the subnet setting it will be enabled for the security group i'll be adding application load balancer over here sorry not the application from load balancer to the container one so that's how we are done with this then enable container insights and create So now we are done creating a cluster. Okay. Now after this I'll be creating a task definition for my image which I have already pushed to my ECR. Okay. So the task definition name will be my web app. Okay. And the rest of the things i'll be keeping it as it is see is task execution role over here i'll be mentioning it to be 100 1024 and add container again i'll be mentioning it as my web app and for the image i will be just copying the uri of this particular uh image out here which i have already stored in my um ecr right so the rest of the things i'll be keeping it as it is over here i'll be making use of 3000 port and the host port i'll be making use of 0 over here why because i'll be implementing dynamic port mapping okay so i will be adding it and the rest of the things i'll be keeping it as it is and create so now you can see that my web app 
which is the sixth revision since I had already created few revisions it is showing me the sixth revision as this one and we have got a cluster okay so now we are done with this and we are ready to go and create a service okay yeah so the launch type will be ec2 and the rest of the things got automatically entered right here the service name will be my web service okay the number of tasks that i want is 2 and i'll be considering zero over here and the rest of the things as it is now in this case you can see that we have got an option of application load balancer network load balancer classic load balancer right so in this from among these options what I'll do is I'll be considering the application load balancer so basically application load balancer works with the HTTP or HTTPS related protocols that is layer 4 layer 7 protocols whereas network load balancer as well as classic load balancer work on the layer 4 of the OSI model okay so we'll come to this in the later section of this playlist but for now you should just know that since we are working with an application we'll be considering application load balancer right here okay and for the role i'll be selecting this one since i don't have load balancer already created what i have to do is i have to go to that particular console and create one for us okay so I'll be selecting the application load balancer now the name I'll be entering it as my load balancer okay it should be internet facing IPv4 and I'll be selecting 1A 1B and 1C okay and for the security group i will be selecting the application load balancer right here okay and for now the most important thing is we'll be listening at port 80 and for that we require a target group so first we'll have to create a target group so i'll be selecting for the instances only the target group will be my target group okay and the rest of the things I'll be keeping it as it is and I'll be selecting the two of my ECS clusters container instances as my target groups and create target group So now my target group is ready and I'll go back to my load balancer refresh it and now I'll get my target group over here okay and the rest of the things I'll be keeping it as it is and create load balancer so it is in the provisioning state yeah. meanwhile what we can do is we can refresh this and you can see my load balancer right here and we'll be adding the load balancer over here and my target group will be right here next step the rest of the things as it is this is my review page wherein I have got cluster as my cluster launch type is EC2 the task definition is my web app 6 and the service name is my web service okay so I have got a load balancer right here and the target group create service hopefully my load balancer is 
ready now it's still provisioning okay cool so now my service is got created i will view the service and you can see that two of my tasks are running over here are pending are shown in the pending state okay now you can see that these two tasks are running over here right so let's go back to our this particular diagram wherein what the user will be accessing is this particular application load balancer and the traffic will be distributed across our containers with the help of this particular application load balancer so whenever we access it we'll be accessing it via application load balancer only okay so previously what we did is we tried to access it via the public ip of this particular container running out here right but now this time we'll be accessing are these tasks with the help of application load balancer so now we'll go to the application load balancer to access it so let's see if it's active right now yeah so it's active and i'll try to access it via this particular dns name now you can see that my application has successfully been de deployed to our oh, ecs cluster and at the same time we are able to access it via load balancer as well so hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates thank you so much and have a nice day